Hey, I'm going to be demoing the Mark Pettit John uh, bobbin. Um, it's been, I've been using it for the last three or four months, and, and seriously, it's it's really kind of changed the way that I've been tying flies. It's very, very easy to use. Um, it's got some cool features. It's got a tension control device here, so any spool that you put in there, you can adjust the tension to. Um, I think one of the coolest features of this is this self-threading mechanism. So there's a little arm here. We're going to take our thread right off the top. We're going to go underneath that arm. It lays down into a groove. Down at the bottom end of this groove, there's a small pigtail uh, contraption, if you will, uh, that allows you to just take the thread, slide it into the side, and you're threaded. I mean, incredibly simple um, to, to work with, and just one of those frustrating things if you've got to take the time to put a threader through the bobbin. It's just one, one more thing that's adding time to your tying time. show you how to use the uh, dubbing loop tool, which is built in. So at the end of this, that little pigtail contraption I was talking about, there's a small little arm that catches the thread. Uh, and that's gonna enable you to tie a loop onto the, the hook shank uh, and, and then use this, this little arm to be able to twist the, the dubbing loop uh, and make it work properly. So I'm just gonna, this is a, just a hook shank here. I'm gonna take my thread, cover up the whole deal And a dubbing loop is as, as simple as this. We've got the, the bobbin hanging. We're going to just pull down about six inches. We're going to come wrap right over the top of that loop. So I've got this loop independent. I'm going to come down here. I've got some ice dub. Any dubbing will work and in conjunction with it, like the magic tool, uh, there's a lot of options. So all we're going to do is just kind of take our bobbin Stick it onto that little pigtail end. Take the dubbing, insert it clear on up into into the uh, into the loop. Maybe stretch it out just a bit. Came off there, but again, it's so simple to work with. It you know it just takes a, a moment to get the thing all dialed in. So you do have to have enough space to be able to actually spin the bobbin in order to uh, to get this dubbing loop to work properly. But we're just going to make a small twist here, spin the bobbin. You can see the dubbing just goes up into a nice little noodle. Uh, you do have to keep it at an angle off of the tip here. You can see it's, you know, we've got three, three pieces of string there. Uh, we can just kind of make a couple wraps, get caught up, and we're ready to start our dubbing process. Just kind of wrap that forward. And you can see the difference between, say, spinning your dubbing onto the thread uh, and just wrapping forward as opposed to a dubbing loop is that we can get a much buggier profile with the with a, a dubbing loop style uh, dubbing brush. So when you're done, we just pull the th excess thread off of that pigtail, separate our loop a little bit. Uh, unlike a lot of other uh, tools for making dubbing loops, we've already tied down over the top of it. So you know I can let go of it and and uh, and the, the thread stays where it is. Just make a couple wraps to kind of help finish that up. Okay, um, just for grins here, we're going to do the same process again to kind of help illustrate it. Make your loop, catch it with the end of the tool, add a bit of dubbing up into the loop, stretch it tight. I do a little twist to kind of help get it started. So we're just going to take that loop down, form up the length kind of to your hook shank size. We're just going to bring that down. You can see that little pin off the side there catches it. So your loop is ready. You can just take the dubbing, slide it up into the loop, and then begin the twisting process.